What's going on guys? It's K Rosebud and we are back playing the long dark. In the last one basically what you can hear outside is pretty much what we had to deal with. Hopefully you guys heard me and everything. I know the wind kind of like covered over even my my voice. I was able to hear myself a little bit but I'm hoping you guys were able to hear me pretty well. I'm just gonna rip this up just because. Plus I also took down my axe. Um, I am now in this cave, which apparently is supposed to take me to... Uh, what does it say? We're, uh, we're leaving Pleasant Valley. I don't remember where it's supposed to take me. Wherever she needs to go. And then Kirby Storm. That's pretty much where I left off. Okay, it's not a cave, it's a mine. Let's get on into it and see what's going on. Iffy. Honestly, you guys might have a lot more entertainment this episode than the past ones. Any besides me sledding it. I only s Um, where do I go? Actually, no, I think it's all circle anyway. I just saw it there. Oh, my pistol's almost dead. Let's refuel that just because. There we go. I'm gonna leave the pistol alone. I'm not gonna really need it too much right now. Oh, jeez. It's a mine, all right. All right, Air hold on. Thick. Oh yeah, there might be, I don't know if this one had any, but there might be like little suffocation stuff like from a gas or whatever. I know the next one will have that. I don't know if this one will. Is there two different paths? Wait, no. Okay, so there. I get it. Okay. It doesn't matter really. Cool block. Bonus is it gets it's it's not freezing in here. Ugh, damn windstorm. Okay, yeah, that's where you would if you went the wrong way, but then there's this way that you just go down. Not that I won't try, but I don't feel like it. You don't have to pick up the coal, but if you don't have anything, it's always good. There's plenty of it. It's you the difference between the coal rocks is that like stuff like this, if you notice the color, there's like one's like a darker like black, this one's more like a I say like a brownish black. Or whatever. That's how you can tell. You don't need to pick up all of them, but still. Oh yep, actually. Actually, there is a gas thing. It sucks a little bit, but it's not that terrible. Know how deep it goes. We're about to find out. There's where that was. This part was. We were just at. Just kind of exploring for you guys a little. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Take what I can. Sometimes those boxes have like cloth or something in them. Very rarely, but you know, I also know what else. But I'm not gonna. S what else happens here? But I'm not spoiling it this time. That's what happens. 
I didn't realize. <laughs> I realized it was this close. I was thought. I thought it was later on. Oh, my lantern. She's okay, but I'm saying my lantern's gonna be out of fuel. Well, I guess it don't matter. I can refuel it anyway, but. in many ways though. Okay, I still have some good fuel. I can do this because boy will I will I damn need it. Okay, this should be enough. This is why you should always have plenty of cloth. And then Basically, always just turn it into into bandages when you can. Okay. I just realized she takes two of those. You probably duck under those rocks. Uh huh. But no, this is because of the aurora. If you guys haven't caught that yet, Aurora causes electricity to work. I'm kind of curious if that's a real thing. Do you guys see a rock disappear? Like it rolled, like it rolled and then disappeared. I'm, I've been seeing things way too often. I know I have light, but the lantern helps more. Let's not step in that water. Even though it's a dead end, it's good to look at it because honestly, I'll show you what oh, you need ends. to. It, they'll show you if you need to go on the other side of that. Hopefully, I find some painkillers soon. I don't think I'll need it any other time, but it'll be best. That's terrible, but that's not. You don't need those Jesus, by the way. Actually. Oh yeah, it says burnt out. You need fuses, but you not those ones. Like that out scared me a little. Well, it's not gonna work. Yep. Because we need a good fuse here for it to work. Actually, two of them. Because I think there's somewhere else that we need a fuse for. Oh, poor med kit. Thank God. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I think I gave that up, so I'll take it. I wasn't worried about the the uh, having the pills, but it would just be better. Stuff will come in handy. There we go. It's not as good as the lantern, but it, it works. I 
I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Why are you heavy? Oh, I have. Okay. okay. Why can't I run? I don't need tea anymore. That. There we go. I still have my crowbar, right? Of course. Never get rid of my crowbar. Okay, so I can't get up here. I have to go on this board. Oh, be aware. It, um... This stuff can be disorienting. Yep, see? You gotta replace these fuses. There's good fuses, like, with the fact that there's lights right here, there are good fuses. You just gotta find them. I might not cut this one for you guys. I hope. Right, bolt cutters, which they they are around. They're a pain in the ass to get to. Don't touch those. You will. You're not gonna die, but ain't gonna feel. It ain't gonna be just a pinch. Come on. There we go. Actually, I think I need to go up here, and I didn't realize. See, there we go. Getting too heavy to carry. Really? Uh, good views. Yeah, let's not step in that just in case. You don't have to worry so much for the rest, but. I've done that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um. Yep, this way. Unless I came from here. Yes, I did. Okay. There. Let's see there. Let me check over here first. Oh, the bullet cutters! Barely walk with this much gear. Okay. Ah, shit! It burns. That's what I thought. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I know my mistakes. Um, I'm gonna let that go. I don't even have anything for it.
And it's almost dead. And I also still have my shotgun that I have not used once. I don't know if that thing will charge back up, but I'm going to use it for now. There's the other fuse. I thought the bolt cutters were harder to get to. So there is something I can like... There we go. This will come in handy. How about, uh, nope. Oh, boy. And how about refuel? We're not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Really? No offense, Astrid, but you really need to start getting, like, some... Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yes, I know it's a dead end. I'm going in there for a reason. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. I hope you guys do enjoy this. I know it's not much, but it's at least better than being in that storm forever. It's a little poor. Not that. Come on. This stuff will come in handy. I don't know how many I need, but when in doubt, take them all. See, even that's a little dead end that you have to like walk all the way back around to. See, this one's almost a true dead. All the others you can just manage to find your way to get around. Not all I needed. No lie, Astrid. You and uh, Mackenzie really need to get some exercise because the breathing is just too much just because you're out of breath. Out to the elevator. I'm guessing that's that sign. There's a fuse. Ways of fuse. I 
actually, I'm just gonna see if I can take the elevator now. I should be able to. I should be able to. Don't I? Okay. Maybe it needs more power. So I'm gonna go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is isn't as bad as like when I had to go around for the storms. Yep, here we go. Oh, I didn't even realize you still had that in there. Oh. I don't know if I need the bolt cutters anymore, but I'm still bringing them with me. Okay, now the elevator should officially work. Yes, because the light's on, like, everywhere. That's all. Oh. That's why. That's not going to work anymore. Okay, actually it might be dead for a general reason. That's probably why. But that's actually a true dead end. I keep saying the next one is when I'll see Mackenzie, but maybe it might be even like the next episode after this. Because I always forget on how long some of this stuff is. Jesus, we got enough crates? everything I just <laughs> broke it, broke up the crate for nothing oh, a way out finally I don't think so I'm pretty sure there's something else so I remember there's something I have to do unless I'm wrong and we are going to see Mackenzie who knows It wouldn't be bad for this episode to get half, uh, half Mackenzie, half, um, I'm just gonna shut up now because I forgot her name. Oh, here we go. What the hell? Oh yeah, we're, we're going to Mackenzie, I believe now. I thought that was something else, but I guess not. Like a part of that cave. That's really sad, though. That's all, uh... The world is changing. Or killer whales, I guess. Has changed. Astrid. The aurora. The weather. Wildlife. Somehow feels like Mother Nature is crying out. Maybe she's warning us. Sometimes I forget to come. That's all. People like Molly, or Father Tom, crash survivors. 
They're just the ones left behind. Damaged people. The hopeful and the hopeless. But what does New World do to them? Will it make them harder? Will it break them? I'm not sure I can help them. Can't help but everybody. I don't know what I'll find when I get to where I'm going. Oh, Astrid's whole journey. But what right I here. do know is this. Okay, besides that part, but we alive. That's still there. And he's heading to Perseverance Mills. That's the place. And that means I have to get there before it's too late. I may not be able to stop this darkness from coming. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna let it happen without a fight. Maybe I'll just leave this episode here after this. Alright, guys. Episode 4. This one's a t this one's rough. I'll, I'll play it until a certain point, but that's it. You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Blackrock. Blackrock? Yeah, you know. Black Rock Federal Pen. <laughs> Where they put the worst of the bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? You need to take my message. You need to deliver it for me. It's important. Ask for Atwood. Atwood. Got What's Atwood? <laughs> What's the message? What's the matter Winter with you? Winter Mute. Just that. The title. Atwood will know what it means. The title of the game. <sighs> this asshole. He's a real. What's in the case? He is a true <sighs> asshole. This dude. I have no idea. I hate this dude so much. Should I show you what happened to the last person who lied to me? She didn't look so pretty after I was done. She. Well, don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Why do we have to carry this sack of shit? He's heavy as hell. Shut the fuck up. Mathis says carry the asshole. We can do this off. They're getting closer. The wolves. You hear about what happened to Leclerc? Don't believe everything you hear, dumbass. Arrow in the chest, man! The chest! No wolves be doing that. Really? Wolves don't use bows. You figure that out all by yourself? <laughs> Piss off. Something's hunting us out here, and it ain't just wolves. Mathis will figure it out. What the hell are we even doing out here? Remember the plan. First we get daughter out. Donner! That crazy fucker! This is bullshit! That's, that's the dude's He's son. Back here. Who's worse than the dude. Apparently. Order. Hey! Hey, Mathis! He's finally awake. Those two aren't anywhere near as bad as he is. Well, well. He lives. Mm -hmm. No thanks to you. Turns out you have a damn hard head, pilot. I told you I was stubborn. Woman. Oh, you mean the one you asked about in the dam? Yeah. She's still there. Won't be going anywhere soon. You bastard. Relax, Mackenzie. She had nothing to do with you. How do you? Just some old lady lost in the woods. 
wandered into the dam when I was there. She saw me and wouldn't stop screaming, so I shut her up. Monster. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Exactly. Why are you so worried about her? I... It doesn't matter. Could it have anything to do with this? I told you I have no idea what that is. Well, it's okay, pilot. We'll find a way to open it very soon. You're gonna play with the numbers until it and says yes? Don't know what's inside. Not for nothing, that's what I do. Hey, not always. Uh, Mackenzie? Yeah. You look like shit. You're a piece of shit. Shit, Mathis? How long we have to carry this heavy bastard for? Shut up, man. That heavy bastard may be our ticket off this rock, so carry him. Hmm. And like the man says, shut the fuck up. Here we are. On episode four. This is the last episode. Um. They found us. Of course. Oh, timber wolves even. That's even worse. That's more scary when the fact that you can actually just kick a wolf and not be afraid of it. Ow. be aware. I have nothing but the clothes on my back and even those aren't anything. They took everything from me. Everything that if you guys saw in my last episodes when we were in Mackenzie. That's what I, everything I had gone. Slap on the wrist, either. Are you really telling me this now? At the like episode four, I will play this again when episode five comes out. After I finish this episode, whenever the hell that is. But I'm waiting. I can't wait. These are the two that we carry. Far with me. those wolves hunting him. Look, you dumbass. Mathis says the pilots are taking off this damn island. Don't you want to get back to the mainland? But Eller, the arrow in the chest, man. Let's go find this guy before Mathis loses his temper again. You know what he's like when he's angry. It's like the home. Let's go. 
but worse. At least the Hulk's still nice a little bit afterwards, after that temper. Mathis is not. And the Hulk won't break your skull just for fun. Better keep going. If you're broken, still be careful. not able to use just any rock or tree to get that rope off. Rusty saw blade. Might be sharp enough to cut this. Oops, sorry about that. We all knew what he was gonna say anyway. See how I don't have a help, like any bars or anything right now, like food, heat, what, like water. That's because we're not there yet. We're just kind of being part of the story. Not the best idea. Just wait. much owl. Looks like I finally found a use for your metal case. <laughs> we have unfinished business, pilot. Stick around. He knows way too much of us. Like, I really don't understand how he knew so much. in a prison cell. That's great. <sighs> oh, sorry guys. I'm a little tired today. It's been a rough day. Not terrible, just not the best. Who's there? Stand on the toilet and you can reach the window. Hello. Hi. There you are. Well, welcome to the shit show. Okay. So who are you? Unfortunately, I run this place. It's the warden. seem to be working out too well for you. Yes, well, normally I'm on the other side of the bars. My name's Franklin. I'm warden here at Black Rock. And you are? Mackenzie. Franklin, what's going on here? I see he talks a lot too, bad. but it's not as bad. You and I are locked up in here. Mathis and his gang of thugs are trying to break someone out of solitary. We're still alive, for now, so they must need us for something. The power's been out for days, and nobody is coming to help. Sounds about right. Great. So, Mathis, you know him? Oh yeah, we go way back. 
He was in for murder on the mainland about 10 years ago. He did seven and then got off on parole. I was warden at one of the federal pens there, and, well, let's just say Mathis isn't sending me any Christmas cards these days. Hmm. Any idea what he's Sorry if you guys me? heard that. That was my thumb. Unfortunately, yeah. He's here for Donner. Donner? Who's that? Reindeer? His son. Shit. So, some kind of twisted family reunion. Mathis is bad, but he's old school bad. Murder, larceny, the occasional heist, and grand theft auto. But Donner? He's a chip off the old block, and then some. So, not a good person. Well, he's locked up in Blackrock, isn't he? Listen, Mathis is bad, but Donner is something much worse. I've seen a lot of criminals in my years, and Donner, he's one of those guys that keeps wardens like me up at night. He's evil to the core. He's the kind of guy we don't see prisons him. like Blackrock. Sadly, I kind of wish I did. There's no redemption for guys like Donner. They aren't here for rehabilitation. Oh, episode five. There's no way back to living in regular society again. They just want to destroy the world you and I live in. If Mathis is bad, Donner is biblical bad. So, Blackrock? Yeah. Maximum security prison. Built a hundred years ago and updated a few times. It's basically a fortress. Out here? You notice the walls on your way in? I was, uh... No. Okay, well, they aren't that high or that impressive, really. You know why? No idea. Because whatever dumb son of a bitch tries to escape from this place has to get through about 50 clicks of brutal terrain full of dangerous wildlife before they can even think about finding a road that leads out of here. Huh. Well, but we got here. Yeah, but are you gonna get out? About 20 years ago, a pair of cons escaped. They came back three days later, half dead, begging us to take them back. And that... That's scary. Of summer. I get the picture. So, Donner is a very bad guy. Mathis came here to spring him. Tell me again why we aren't dead yet. Well, that's a story. Power went out here a couple of weeks ago now. The backups held for a while, but eventually the cons were able to break out and overwhelm the guards. They grabbed the keys to solitary, went to get Donner, which, well, that would have been the end. But they couldn't open the gates to solitary. Something has them locked down tight and it's driving Mathis crazy. Hmm. It was bad for us. I haven't seen any of the other guards since they locked me up in here and, well, I fear the worst. And now the Mathis is here? But with the power down, what's keeping the gates locked? There are mechanical fail-safes in the system. Oh, if they mind, lose power, most of this jail is they don't get old. out. But that's not the full answer to why Donner is still locked up. What do you mean? Well, best I can tell, they should have been able to break him out by now. But something, or someone, has been getting in the way. You mean... Oh. There's someone else still out there? That's exactly what I mean. But who? Someone. I don't know. But sounds like Mathis is as mad as a hornet because of him, and it's that not brings me no small pleasure. Shit! They're coming! Get back to your bunk! So, pilot. Yeah, those two are not as bad as he is, but they're not the For best. Now. Yeah, but just seeing you gives me a headache. <laughs> well, just seeing you makes me want to hit people. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, 
Be aware, this like is gonna be a little from. bad. I still can't get into solitary. You have so. any idea where that might be? I told you, Mathis, the whole jail is in some kind of weird lockdown. It all happened before you got here. Donner just... Yeah. Don't you ever say his name. I, I don't know anything about it. My guys say someone's been tampering with the system. They say it's gotten worse. Every time they take a step closer to breaking into solitary, something new gets in their way. Didn't you used to run this place? Yeah. So you're telling me you have no idea how it works? That's just the thing. Nothing is working the way it's supposed to right now. Bullshit. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> and stop wasting your time. You don't have much left. Unless we get that door open. Yeah, this Mathis, is what I mean. It's, it's a little rough. Well, Anything. Things are a lot worse than Let me jog it gets a lot worse than that. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> if you guys don't want to hear this, by all means, skip it. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Madness. Maybe not so hard. Like, we might still need him to get him out. Madness. Uh, he doesn't look good. You're going too far. <laughs> Clean him up. Oh boy. Crazy. Half crazy? <laughs> Ever since the bus crash, he's been getting wild, like a caged animal. How the hell did he expect this to turn out? You remember Montreal, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, remember that place on St. Catherine's with a girl <laughs> who... Not that, you fucking moron. Remember how Mathis broke out? Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, but I heard about it. Right. You clean up the warden, and I'll tell you all about it. So there was this really tight plan. Mathis had months to set it up. Everyone had their part to play. It was like... out of a fucking movie. So we bust out, and all hell breaks loose. We get to the front gates. It's a mess, right? Place is in chaos. And the driver who's supposed to pick us up... He's late. No shit. No shit. So the driver pulls up. Like, two minutes late. Alarms going off everywhere. It's like, the prison guards are coming after us. We're gonna get grabbed at any second. We're yelling at Mathis. Come on, man, let's go, let's get out of here. And Mathis just stands there, looking at the fucking driver. Looking like he wants to eat the guy. The driver's terrified. Mathis walks over to the van, slowly. We're all jumping in and yelling to get out, and we... And we can see the fucking guards coming. Like, we are done. We need to get out. Mathis, he pulls the driver out of the van, looks back at us, and... With this totally wild look in his eyes, just says, go. Like, totally calmly but with this wild edge. And he just starts beating the living shit out of the driver. Wow. Damn. That's scary I shit. I in Montreal, but I didn't know that story. Yeah. I mean, we took off. And Mathis? It took five cops to pull him off that driver. He cared less about being caught than he did about the driver being late. For two minutes. Crazy fucker. Mathis is not a patient man. He does not like it when a plan does not come together. He does not like to be let down. And right now, his plan for getting Donner out of here is totally fucked. It's just a matter of time before he... snaps. Like he did in Montreal. 
He looks bad, eh? What are we going to do? If he dies, it'll be worse for us because we'll take the heat. We need to get him patched up. Well, we passed some kind of first aid building on the way in. Great. Go there and grab some supplies. No fucking we. You hear all those wolves out there? Don't be an asshole. Go do it. You do it. Why do I have to be the one who... Hey! Who went back to look for Leclerc when he went missing? No way I'm going back out there. I'll do it. Did you hear something? I said I'll do it. Let me out. And I'll get the supplies. Nobody's talking to you, pilot. Just keep quiet and hope that Mathis doesn't start paying attention to you. He dies and you guys take the rap. You want that? The rap? Take the rap? Who talks like that? Listen, pilot. Why don't you shut the fuck up? What do you have to lose? I go out there, get attacked by wolves? No great loss, right? Wait a second now. This is a bad idea. Mathis has plans for this guy. Shut up. All right. You're right. You've been out in the bush all this time. Yep. I'm sure you figured out how to deal with a few wolves by now. We let you out. You get the supplies. The warden lives and maybe. We keep Mathis distracted so he doesn't lose his shit on you next time. Understood. Hmm. You let me out. I get the supplies. The warden lives. Ha! <laughs> you see? He learns fast. Time to save the day, pilot. Don't fuck it up. Get going, pilot. The warden doesn't have much time left. Mm. And in case you're thinking of running away, remember, we still have your precious case. See, they're evil, but they're like stupid evil. <sighs> Brutal, deadly cold. Right. Hold on. Now I've missed you. Let's see if I can go here first. Hold on. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um. I guess I'll just leave it here. Oh yeah, they still left me with just the ba clothes on my back. How fun is that? At least there's a fire here. I'll just be right here for a minute. Okay. So um, I'm gonna leave it here. I know most of that was just a story to start with. But honestly, I guess it's better than nothing. If you guys enjoyed this, please, as always, leave a like, comment, and please subscribe. I'm sure there's plenty of you guys who are watching this, but th you are not subscribed. It's, from what everyone says, it's free. I mean, I've, I've sc subscribed to plenty of people. I love their videos. But it's up to you guys, but I would appreciate it so much. But let me know what you guys think of this. Um, this one's going to be an interesting one. This one I don't think I'll cut very much out of. Because honestly it was just walking around the cave. And and then the story mostly. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.